Biodiversity Hotspot, Wikipedia Article Audio A biodiversity hotspot is a biogeographic region with significant levels of biodiversity that is threatened with destruction. For example forests are considered as biodiversity hotspots. Norman Myers wrote about the concept in two articles in The Environmentalist, and 1990 revised after thorough analysis by Myers and others in Hotspots, Earth's biologically richest and most endangered terrestrial e corjuns in a paper published in the journal Nature. Hotspot Conservation Initiatives Distribution by Region to qualify as a biodiversity hotspot on Myers 2000 edition of the hotspot map, a region must meet two strict criteria, it must contain at least 0.5% or 1,500 species of vascular plants as endemics, and it has to have lost at least 70% of its primary vegetation. Around the world, 36 areas qualify under this definition. These sites support nearly 60% of the world's plant, bird, mammal, reptile, and amphibian species, with a very high share of those species as endemics. Only a small percentage of the total land area within biodiversity hotspots is now protected. Several international organizations are working in many ways to conserve biodiversity hotspots. By the influence of that the central government of India arrived a new authority named Kampa to control the destruction of forests and biological spots in India. North and Central America The Caribbean South America Europe Africa Central Asia South Asia Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific East Asia West Asia Critiques of Hotspots The high profile of the biodiversity hotspots approach has resulted in some criticism. Papers such as Kariva and Marvir have argued that the biodiversity hotspots a recent series of papers has pointed out that biodiversity hotspots do not address the concept of cost. The purpose of biodiversity hotspots is not simply to identify regions that are of high biodiversity value, but to prioritize conservation spending. The regions identified include some in the developed world, alongside others in the developing world. The cost of land is likely to vary between these regions by an order of magnitude or more, but the biodiversity hotspot designations do not consider the conservation importance of this difference. However, the available resources for conservation also tend to vary in this way. Template Default Sort Biodiversity Hotspot Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund is a global program that provides funding and technical assistance to non-governmental organizations and participation to protect the Earth's richest regions of plant and animal diversity including, biodiversity hotspots, high biodiversity wilderness areas and important marine regions. The World Wide Fund for Nature has derived a system called the Global 200 e Corjuns the aim of which is to select priority ecorjuns for conservation within each of 14 terrestrial, 3 freshwater, and 4 marine habitat types. They are chosen for their species richness, endemism, taxonomic uniqueness, unusual ecological or evolutionary phenomena, and global rarity. All biodiversity hotspots contain at least one global 200 e corjun. BirdLife International has identified 218 endemic bird areas each of which hold two or more bird species found nowhere else. BirdLife International has identified more than 11,000 important bird areas all over the world 
Plant Life International coordinates several the world aiming to identify important plant areas. Alliance for Zero Extinction is an initiative of a large number of scientific organizations and conservation groups who cooperate to focus on the most threatened endemic species of the world. They have identified 595 sites, including a large number of bird life's important bird areas. The National Geographic Society has prepared a world map of the hotspots and ArcView shapefile and metadata for the biodiversity hotspots including details of the individual endangered fauna in each hotspot, which is available from Conservation International. California Floristic Province 8, Madri and Pine Oak Woodlands 26, Mesoamerica 2, North American Coastal Plain 36 Caribbean Islands 3 Atlantic Forest 4, Cerrado 6, Chilean Winter Rainfall Valdivian Forests 7, Tums Choco Magdalena 5, Tropical Andes 1 Mediterranean Basin 14 Cape Floristic Region 12, Coastal Forests of Eastern Africa 10 Eastern Afromontane 28, Guinean Forests of West Africa 11, Horn of Africa 29, Madagascar and the Indian Ocean Islands 9, Maputa Land Ponda Land Albany 27, Succulent Karoo 13. Mountains of Central Asia 31. Eastern Himalaya, Nepal, India 32, Indo-Burma. India and Myanmar 19, Western Ghats, India 21, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka 21. East Melanesian Islands 34, New Caledonia 23, New Zealand 24, Philippines 18, Polynesia Micronesia 25, Eastern Australian Temperate Forests 35, Southwest Australia 22, Sund Island and Nicobar Islands of India 16, Wallacea 17, Japan 33, Mountains of Southwest China 20, Caucasus 15, Irino Anatolian 30. Do not adequately represent other forms of species richness, do not adequately represent taxa other than vascular plants. Do not protect smaller scale richness hotspots. Do not make allowances for changing land use patterns. Hotspots represent regions that have experienced considerable habitat loss, but this does not mean they are experiencing ongoing habitat loss. On the other hand, regions that are relatively intact have experienced relatively little land loss but are currently losing habitat at tremendous rates, do not protect ecosystem services, do not consider phylogenetic diversity.